Welcome to the Road to Nebula camo on Call of Duty Black Ops 6 Zombies. So in today's video I'm going to be doing the XM4, the first of many assault rifles on this game and let's just say, you know what? The XM4 is a pretty good weapon as a whole, uh, not too tricky, not too bad, but let's just say that this camo grind does not come without its challenges. So the first thing I have to do on this XM4 camo grind is to get 2000 critical kills. Now this does take quite a long time to complete actually as um, you have to get to very high rounds to even do it in one match and I don't do this in one match by the way because let's just say my zombie skills were not up to par. I try to mix it up between Liberty Falls and Terminus best I can so for the first game for example I played on Terminus and I went back to Liberty Falls later down the line this is so it's a bit more var varied and I'm not playing the same map over and over and over again otherwise I think I'd lose my mind but doing this allowed me to explore both maps and um, learn a lot more about them um, through doing these camera grinds throughout this series so that's why um, I've been flip-flopping between them because obviously Liberty Falls is the easier option but I don't want to be playing Liberty Falls all the time be boring for gameplay purposes anyway losing track of what I'm actually supposed to be doing to begin with so my first objective was to get the 2000 headshots um, critical kills and I'm going to show you what I achieved after this first game so you know what, for the most part this game is going pretty well, I had Juggernaug, PhD Flopper and Deadshot Daiquiri. Deadshot Daiquiri is absolutely essential for this to be a success, well it's not essential essential, but it makes your life a lot easier put it that way. In the gameplay here my weapon is Purple Rarity, Pack a Punch Tier 2 and for the most part the weapon is really really good. Actually in the XM4 from what I've played with it so far could potentially be one of the better assault rifles, it seems to kill zombies fairly fairly quickly even in the later rounds when I get to like tier 3 pack a punch and stuff like that and yeah things were going really really well but let's just say it didn't end that way so on round 20 I was having the time of my life killing zombies like no tomorrow then all of a sudden I get myself trapped and I don't make it and the game ends wasn't too happy with myself and yeah I got a gobble gun for some weird reason though so that was fun However, overall, I was actually able to get six, over 600 headshots, so I didn't actually do too bad in terms of progress, but like I said, it could have been a bit more, so here's me with the end screen and the rewards, and yeah, I get the 600 camo, and now it's time for me to move on to my next match. So for my next match, I decided to go on Liberty Falls, you know, just to change it up a little bit. And I thought it would be a fun idea to put the Rampage Inducer on because what the Rampage Inducer essentially does, it causes zombies to spawn a lot more quickly, a lot more aggressively and rounds tend to go faster. I'm not sure why I've got the knife out here even though I'm doing XM4 grind but we move. But anyway, um, the problem with the Rampage Inducer however is, is let's just say it makes Liberty Falls which is already an easy map. A complete nightmare. The Rampage and Juta makes zombies a lot harder. It feels like you're around 50. I mean, I'm around 4 at the moment, but the zombies do not stop spawning. I mean, look how fast these men are going. It is mental. So, on round 7, I got too scared. I chickened out. I couldn't handle the pressure. And I decided to turn the Rampage and Juta back off. Because, you know what? I needed calm and peace in my life. And things were already stressful enough as it is. I'll tell you what did make this quite enjoyable sometimes was doing the Samantha Trials. I mean, it just kept things sort of, like, interesting. And that's what I do like about Black Ops 6 Zombies. Because when I was playing Cold War, the trials were a bit meh. But in the Samantha Trials, they appear randomly on certain rounds. And you've just, like, got, like, a little objective to do. And it made this a lot more enjoyable. And to be fair, it did help with the grind. Because what sometimes happens is more zombies do spawn in for certain challenges. And they have purple eyes. And they count towards your, um camo count in terms of the headshots and critical kills and all that kind of stuff so you know what what's one for the samantha challenges because they've got me through a lot and yeah <laughs> and once again because i'm awful at the game i died on a lovely round such a such a high round of 25 and got munched up by zombies as you can see in that beautiful cutscene there so yeah that was fun was it round 26 it was something like that and yeah, I could have done better. I don't know what to say. 
So I started a new game of Liberty Falls immediately after that and I'm on round 25 and it's a boss zombie round so it just means there's just going to be spiders on the map and that's basically about it and lord and behold I get a max ammo and things are looking good round 26 the wonder fizz has spawned in and I drink some Deadshot Daiquiri because on Liberty Force, for some stupid reason, you can only get on the Wonder Fizzle through some Easter Egg thing. But I didn't have a sniper rifle and I wasn't grinding for a sniper rifle so I didn't do that. So got to round 26 and because I was doing that well and I was a bit exhausted and I was tired at the time, I actually saved and quit the game. Meaning that serious progress is being made in my life. So I was actually able to get close to purple tiger camo, so only a few more headshots to go. Well, there's actually quite a lot, but we're getting there. So I restarted um, the match again. Well, I didn't restart it. I continued for my last save file, and I was also working on another challenge because I'd achieved all the headshots in this game by the time you got there. So 2,000 headshots achieved, so good stuff right there. But we still need to get 300 napalm kills. So that means you have to um, equip the napalm ammo mod, which I've got equipped, and you have to kill 300 zombies. So once you've done those headshots, you've still got more to do because I still need to do the napalm uh, kills i then need to kill um, 30 of the ver vermin zombies and then i also need to till kill 10 um, zombies rapidly um several times before i can finally get the gold camo for this weapon before moving on to the next one um unfortunately in this game i didn't quite get a chance or let's just say i didn't quite succeed more like to get the other camo for the napalm kills but i did manage to get the purple tiger camo um unfortunately i do die uh, more or less on this round but you know what onwards and upwards we've got the headshot critical kills out of the way now we just need to focus on some miscellaneous challenges it won't take too long to be honest so for this game, I thought it would be a very smart idea to load up Terminus. Now you guys might be thinking, what on earth is he talking about? Why is he saying that so sarcastically, like as if he's doing something stupid? Well, it wasn't necessarily a stupid decision, but let's just say I delayed myself a lot and ended up actually not fit going through with the match in the end. So I did uh, manage to get the napalm kills in this specific game, so that wasn't an issue. Not an issue at all. But it was the vermin challenge. So in the vermin challenge, you have to kill 30 of them. And in Terminus, they don't spawn in as often as you think. If anything, the parasites are a lot more common in this map. When it comes to the vermin, they don't seem to spawn in nowhere near as much. Because in uh, when you have the special rounds in Terminus, you don't have the vermin boss zombie. You instead have the parasites. And obviously that's fine and everything, but it's not helpful for when you're doing a camo challenge. So... Yeah, that wasn't the best move, but, you know, I enjoyed the match nonetheless. Um, did a few things, I mean, got my napalm kills, but I had to go back into Liberty Falls. So, let's just say Liberty Falls was used a lot for this specific weapon. And surprisingly enough, the next game was actually my last game. So, I managed to kill the vermin pretty quick, because they just appear on special rounds. You get it done, no issues whatsoever. But the critical kills rapidly actually took me quite a while. I mean, it, was, it wasn't like the highest round in the world. I'm only like what, round 13, 14 when I managed to achieve this but killing the zombies at a rapid rate um, in the early rounds is actually harder than you think in terms of how fast the zombies spawn and yes I could have used the rampage inducer but PTSD man those zombies are going a thousand miles an hour and I probably would have died to tell you the truth if I'm completely honest with you because I suck and that's just the way it is However, lord and behold, I completed a weapon challenge, um, got the gun gold, and happy, happy days. We got the XM4 gold. I'm really, really happy about it, even though I don't sound it, but I'm extremely tired from doing it, to be honest, because it took quite a while. I could just tell straight away this is going to be a huge grind, but a huge chat and a huge challenge all at the same time. But in retrospect, you know what? I don't mind it, because I get to use all the weapons in the game, and I hopefully should become a better zombies player once I've completed this challenge. So you know what? I'm looking forward to it. I can't wait to get on to the next weapon which is the AK-74 and it's going to be an amazing experience. Anyway, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace out.